This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. We're going to review some Kinder Egg Toys. Mo, <laughs> I nearly swore that. <laughs> but yes, hello, everyone. Um, George here. Just It's just me and my hands today um, because I haven't really got an OC um, for the toys that I'm going to talk about today, but... Um, to give you a bit of a background, I was just literally watching uh, a video by a YouTuber whose channel I quite like. He's called Nerd Cubed, and I, I, one of the videos that I stumbled upon was he's got a couple of videos where he reviews some of the Kinder Egg toys that he's got from Kinder Surprise, and that made me think, hang on a minute, I've got a collection of God knows how many Kinder Egg toys. Why don't I talk about those? Because there are some really unusual ones that I've had probably since God, late 90s, I think. And there's some that I've bought that are even older than that. So I just thought I'd um, do a public service for you. If, like me, you like Kinder Eggs, then you might be able to find some of these things on eBay. You know, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're going to go through this now. And I hope that's okay with you guys. Well, if, uh, if it's not okay tough we're gonna to go through this, this format this is my kinder egg collection and they're all in different sections and yes there's a reason why there's a porsche box in here um so yeah i guess i'll just go through them in different categories i suppose first off just because i've got these two things to hand i'm a sucker for spinning tops I mean, look at that go. I just love those. I suppose this is like some sort of cheap version of a fidget spinner. Which, you know, it doesn't spin for very long, but it looks cool. These are all my Kinder Toy animals. you got the more cartoony ones towards the back in, in the middle. I love the six-legged gecko. He's got a little sticky back on his back. So you can, if you want, stick him to walls. He won't sit there very often. But all of these are little stampers. I think this one, he, yeah, these are, these ones have rollers underneath them. There's a little octopus thing, which is another spinning top. There's a little perpetual motion monkey on a swing there. We've got this frog king who, that, that, that. I don't know if he's like a paper clip that you can use to hold it, your paper together, I'm not sure. I also love this little mother bird with a chick in her wings. And then you've got the more realistic looking ones. When you push the wheel underneath, it sort of gallops as you roll it along. There's also this chimp. I love it because from this angle, because he's all black, kind of looks like he's scratching his ass, but um, he's not actually. But yeah, these two, I can't remember how long I've had these guys. I'm guessing little puppies. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they are actually flopped. So they're really, really soft. I also forgot to show you this little polar bear who's sitting on an iceberg. And when you turn the wheel, the uh, sticker shows something different to the ice, which is quite cool. Here's a load of movie superhero stuff that isn't really in any other category because I've got so few of it, including the only minion figure I own. I'm not sure which minion this is, but he's in some sort of cowboy get up and if you push his hat down his goggles pop out slightly yeah oh, don't get that one the only frozen figure i have anna i know it's not pronounced anna but come on it's everybody knows it, it's spelt anna so yeah so that's anna quite that's really nicely little detailed figure and then we've got three superhero figures so first off I think, yeah this must be black widow or is it captain marvel i can't remember but she's one of the two rocket raccoon he's quite a cool figure and this really cool little spider-man figure where he's standing up using his web but then something else which is sort of falls under this category which i've got off screen i got this in a kinder egg back in 2005 when i was eight in portugal it was the last day we were there we pulled over in a garage to get some petrol 
and I got a Kinder Egg. And bear in mind, this was at the time when the first Incredibles film came out. And I opened it up and inside was something I didn't even know existed. It's a model of the Manta Jet from Incredibles. I mean, you know, the, the, the automated plane that flies Mr. Incredible over to the island and goes underwater. It's, it's that one. And that's probably one of the greatest things I've ever got in a Kinder Egg. These are three little robots that I got out of Kinder Eggs. First off, this little robot dog. He looks so apathetic. Bark, bark, woof. I'm tired, give me food. <laughs> He's really cute and his, his little ears flap as well. And his front and back legs move together. Just generic sort of space robot. The arms are posable on ball joints and the legs are just posable on single pivot joints. This may be another one of the greatest things I've got out of a Kinder Egg. It's obviously a bulldozer and it's a transformer. And so basically, it transforms into, I'm not really sure, is that supposed to be a dog? or some sort of lion or big cat or something. But yeah, that that's pretty cool as well. Now we're getting into one of my favorite bits of Kinder Toys, the vehicles. These are specifically anthropomorphic cars, really. Let's start with that one at the back. His name is Bobby, I'm not joking. There, you can see his name's Bobby. I used to have one of these when I was very little, um, but I lost him. And then a couple of weeks ago, I thought, I bet there's one on eBay, and sure enough, there is. I don't think he's the same colour as the one that I had, but I don't really care. And there would have been two of these in the set. Uh, I never had the other one, but I, f I found the other one on eBay. Um, so this is the other one in the set, Lulu. And uh, yeah, so Bobby is based on an original Mini. Lulu, I guess, because she's French, I guess she's based on a Citroen 2CV. These three, I don't know why these exist, because they're really nice, but they're dog cars. So let, this one's probably the most obvious one, this little sports car. That is quite clearly a dog's face on a car and with a hat. I mean... That one looks a bit weird. The ambulance one quite works. The nurse is quite quite sweet, I guess. And then there's one. There's a bit, a little bit less obvious that he's a dog. This truck. Um, actually, no. Now looking at it, um, yeah, not sure why they exist. And then you got these two on the end. Basically, the same principle with both of them. There's a little uh, cam on the rear rear axle, and as it goes along. The bonnet flaps, flaps up and down so it makes it look like yeah that's enough of that and then on the front row i have all my disney pixar cars kinder toys these are two little keychains with the cars logo one's got lightning in it and one's got sally this is quite a cool little thing so on one side you've got lightning who's driving really fast down the road and he's gonna crash you pull the switch and then it switches over and he's smiling next to his best bud mater so that's really cool at this thing i've lost part of it i don't know where it goes but basically in there as you can see is a tiny little lightning mcqueen that's magnetized and it would have come with a little stick with a magnet on it and you could drive him around the uh, the course which is really cool i think and now onto the uh, kinder cars themselves um, so let's start off with Lightning McQueen. Here he is. I mean, you had to put the decals on yourself, apart from the ones on the eyes. But yeah, it's really, really nicely detailed. And all the racing ones had a little slot in the back, which was for a little launcher in the shape of the piston cup. Let's just demonstrate that. Yeah, that's quite nifty, that. And I've also got a Sally. Yeah, like I say, you know, for how much quid these were well 
pence these were back in the day they're really detailed and then you've also got strip weathers the king he's really cool and then you've also got there he is chick hicks and uh, yeah so that's all the uh, anthropomorphic cars now on to the cars that are just made up cars there's some other ones off camera that i haven't shown yet but uh, yeah you've got ones that are sort of slightly bigger ones even like the little bike and this little um scooter there and some other things there's some motorbikes over here and uh, these ones at the back all have some sort of launching function these guys over here are all have like little friction motors and then these guys are like little dirt buggies you've got almost sort of concept cars over here that one which might be a ferrari f430 and then there's a few other ones which have actions which i'd just like to demonstrate this one for example you can either have it like this or it's two toys in one well three toys in one rather and because where's that done? you can have two little buggies which is really neat i think this little truck which you can jack it up at the back or at the front or both ways one i don't really understand it kind of looks like a hammerhead shark but when you push this in this bit lifts up and it's some sort of is it a spaceship or a submersible i'm really not sure In recent years a lot of kinder toys have also had ones where things fold out so this is another one of my favorite kinder toys of all time basically it's a car looks a bit weird and then oh it can fly other ones more recently have gotten a bit more detail for example this one the bonnet opens and there's no actually there is a little bit of an engine in there but that's quite cool that the bonnet opens on that this one's actually one of my most recent kinder surprise toys and this bit opens up and you can see the driver inside this one's quite similar to one of the early ones the, this folds down and this one can also fly and this one is another one of my more recent purchases and with this one the wheels can fold out and it can be a monster truck two more which i absolutely love i don't know how old these are but these are definitely kinder toys and they're vintage cars and yes this one is die cast metal i think these are late 80s early 90s i'm really not sure just a quick one this group all those ones at the back they're sort of got little plastic I'll take one apart to demonstrate. The tops are vacuum molded plastic and then you've got a little base with a friction motor that you put together. All these ones at the front are little Formula One racers. Here are some Kinder planes and aircraft. This one down here, this one is 20 years old. There have been some pieces fall off over the years, but basically it's lots of bits of plastic. Most of it, the wings and the main body, is all cardboard. Um, I remember I also had a windmill from that very same range. Over here, these two, these are the only two in the uh, set. A lot of these, like all, pretty much all the ones on the back row, they had stickers on them, like these ones. But because they're so old, they just fell off over time or I just peeled them off. All these ones at the back, the three there, they're all from the same collection. I'm pretty sure that red and light green one is based on some sort of Piper or Cessna 182. I think this is some sort of Cessna. And then down here at the front, we've got another little plane. This is These are some more recent ones from the past couple of years. And when you move it along, the little propeller, the front spins. And a little helicopter, similarly. And it's a bit difficult, but the wheel on the bottom spins the rotor blade which is really cool these are all my kinder cars that are actually based on real vehicles this one in the corner this moped or vespa really that is the kinder toy that i've had the longest and next to it is the kinder toy that i've had probably the second longest that's a ferrari f40 and uh, next to it is one from that range which i only found last october on some antique stall it's a ferrari f50 next to it is a lamborghini urus then we've got an old kinder toy that i bought off ebay some sort of art deco bugatti 
This little vintage Kinder Fiat 500 I found on a market stall. These three are all sort of American cars. You've got a Cadillac Coupe de Ville, some sort of old Chevrolet. I'm guessing that's a Chevrolet as well or something. These two vehicles on the end, these diggers, these are both New Holland. And what I love about these, they actually work. So the, t the bucket can go up and down and it's articulated. And with this one, the arm actually moves and the body can swivel as well. All of these are Porsches. Yeah, Porsche Panamera. You've got a 911 Carrera. You've got a GT3 Turbo, Boxster and a Cayenne. And next to those, you've got some smart cars. You've got two smart 4.4s and two smart coupes. And then on the back row, the three motorbikes. They're all Honda motorbikes. And then next to that, you've got two minis. You've got a mini Countryman and a mini convertible. This is the penultimate lot now, I promise. These are all Hot Wheels Kinder cars. So the ones at the back are all sort of different hot rods, all from the same range. These three are from the same range. Apparently something happens, you're supposed to like press the uh, the bonnet down or something. I'm, I'm really not sure what goes on with these, but they are cool. And then these ones, these were some of the earlier Kinder Hot Wheels cars, um, and they're all based on actual Hot Wheels cars that I actually have in my collection. I can't remember the name of those two on the end. Um, I know these two here, which are basically recolors of each other, I think these are based on different variations of the twin mill design. This one here, the white and red one, is based on split vision. And this one on the end is based on CU Elater. So, yeah. One more lot now, and then we're done. And finally, last but by no means least, what would a video on my channel be if we didn't have some MLP stuff? So these are all my Kinder Ponies or Equestria Girls. So at the back we've got the big Equestria Girls Twilight. And at the front we've got Pony Twilight. Next to her we've got Equestria Girls Pinky and Pony Pinky. Pony and Equestria Girl Fluttershy. And Pony and Equestria Girl Rainbow Dash. And then on the end, I don't know whether this is an officially licensed MLP from the late 80s early 90s but yeah she's she's there um, and that on the back that isn't a saddle that is an actual ring which you can take off and wear um, obviously it doesn't fit me because it's made for children but um, but yeah she's quite cute um, looks a bit mouse like from the front um, but yeah she's got anime style ponytails on the back of her head and yeah, she's she's cute. She she's there. She's on in for the party. So, with that, that concludes my Kinder Toy Showcase. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video because, well, I'm not sure about anybody else on watching this video, but for me, Kinder Eggs has been a big part of my childhood and growing up. And whilst they have had their low lights, like when you get it crappy cardboard jigsaw in there yeah I just wanted to, to showcase my collection and what I feel have been some of the highlights in my opinion of kinder in the past 20 years or so so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment if you fancy and I will see you in the next video cheers guys take care it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, but if you understand this, then you're mad. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, and the singing is also quite bad.